What's going on, guys? Today, we are talking Jarek McKinnon, running back for the 49ers. All right. I have a really hot take on this one, and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I don't really care. I'm taking Jarek McKinnon over the likes of Kareem Hunt and Dalvin Cook this year. Now, let me explain why. Let me try to make my case. Kyle Shanahan has statistically and historically gotten tremendous seasons out of the running back. He favors having a single running back. He was able to orchestrate a fantastic season for the likes of Steve Slayton, Alfred Morris. Um, he is part of the reason that uh, Devonta Freeman is one of the highest paid running backs in the NFL right now. And even last year with Carlos Hyde, he got Carlos Hyde nearly 60 receptions. Carlos Hyde is not a receiving back. Well, guess what? Jarek McKinnon is. Do you know who else Jarek McKinnon profiles close to in terms of height and weight? Devonta Freeman. Kyle Shanahan has openly talked about how much he loves Jarek McKinnon. They targeted him in the free agency. They went after him because they had a specific role that they wanted Jarek McKinnon to fill. And Kyle Shanahan, who is arguably one of the better coaches in the NFL, believes and is staking his reputation on the fact that they want to use him to be the focal point of their offense. Uh, his contract, he's making, I believe it was a five-year, $40 million contract, but his first year, he's making about $12 million. So it's very front-loaded. So they have no reason, if he doesn't work out this year, that they won't can him. So there's no reason that they're going to try to preserve him and keep his legs. They're going to use him as much as he possibly can. I recognize that Jarek McKinnon having a smaller frame is a little bit more likely to get hurt. But again, I've made this argument before. If you want to play your fantasy league and try to guess who's going to get hurt, good luck. Because at the end of the year, the amount of people that get hurt in the NFL at the end of an NFL season is ridiculous. And good luck trying to predict who will get hurt. If he gets hurt, you'll say, I told you so, whatever. But if he doesn't, well, let's think about what that could actually turn into for production wise. So last year, Carlos Hyde, who really up until this point had been a very very in and out receiver and also someone that that you would have considered injury prone actually played 16 games he had nearly a thousand yards rushing again he had almost 60 receptions and carlos hyde is not the greatest of running backs if kyle shanahan is actually expecting to use Jarek mckinnon the way that um he used devonta freeman in the 2015 and 2016 season you could be talking about a running back that could easily outproduce his adp and absolutely press it on a week in week out basis there's no one else behind him that's even close to his uh, capabilities on the field. You got Matt Burita, who I guess you would consider a handcuff, and Joe Williams, who we really haven't really seen do much of anything. Jarek McKinnon is the clear-cut uh, running back in, uh, in San Francisco, and I believe that they want to use him for a three-down role. Now, again, I know that it's crazy to, to say that I'm... Uh, taking him over Kareem Hunt and Dalvin Cook, but I'm projecting him to have a better year. If he plays 16 games and he's not on your team, I think you're going to really regret taking other running backs ahead of him other than the ones that are going in the first round um, are Kareem Hunt. So if you're looking for a high upside play in the second round, I don't think you can do much better than Jarek McKinnon on the 49ers. If you believe that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to elevate that team and that Kyle Shanahan is a good coach, then there's really no reason why you don't equate Jarek McKinnon to having a running back one season. Anyway, if you guys want to see how my rankings actually stand out and how they uh, how everything falls with Jarek McKinnon and the other running backs around him, please feel free. Click the link in the description box and sign up for my PPR tiers. I'll be sending you guys updates throughout August and into September so you can crush it in your fantasy leagues. Anyway, you guys have a great day.